Yo, before we get into the video, I just want to say it's almost midnight. We're going to get this video out on time, which is awesome. And this is one of the favorite videos I've done in this series so far. So check it out. Data team, what's up? This is Avery Smith. I'm doing 30 day science projects in 30 days. And today I'm going camping and I need to get a project done. So I'm going to be in the car on the way down. It's like an hour and a half, two hour drive. I'm going to be programming using Deep Note. I got the shirt on and everything. So Deep Note makes it possible to do this. So let's see if it goes. I wanted to see if it was possible to build an entire data science project only using my phone. Because sometimes you won't have access to your computer or maybe you don't have a computer. So can you do everything you need for a data science project on just your smartphone? So I have an iPhone 10. It's not anything new. You know, it is an iPhone, so it is nice. Um, but I use Deep Note. Deep Note is a basic browser that you can type stuff in and it'll interpret your Python for you online notebooks very collaborative very awesome and so I didn't need to have a computer because Python was installed on the cloud and basically I accessed deep note from my browser which was able to give me access to Python on the go inside of the car while we were camping for this whole camping trip now I will say I was planning on doing like a FPV first person view of me actually doing this project I have my GoPro and everything and a headband and a chest band that was gonna actually show you me coding it on the phone But when I got in the car my GoPro was dead So you got screen recordings instead So I'll talk over what I kind of did in the screen recordings and give you an idea of what I what was going through my mind And how we did this project. Let me go show you what the project's going to be on Pokemon I love Pokemon. Kaggle has something called the complete Pokemon data set, which I was able to download on my phone and then upload that CSV from my phone to DeepNote and be able to interact with it inside of DeepNote using Pandas. Next, I investigated that data frame. I basically just took a snippet of it and looked across all the different columns. There was how much added points it has against like opponents and weakness. There was how much the attack has, how much HP each animal has you know, what type of Pokemon they are, what their specialty is, a bunch of different columns that you can check out in the Kaggle link that I'll have in the resources down below. And keep in mind, I'm just on an iPhone 10, so like it's a very skinny screen, and so it was very hard to move inside of Deep Note with my little finger to see all the different columns, but we got the job done. Now with this data, I did have a plan that I kind of wanted to do some sort of clustering, because I think like Pokemon types are just like super cool, and it's fascinating to like read about them and see the differences and see the similarities and stuff like that. So I want to take all the numeric columns and do some sort of a classification algorithm. So I imported scikit-learn and looked through all the different columns and basically chose what columns I felt were the most important, which ends up being like the attack, the defense, the HP, the height, the weight, and some other numerical columns that we were going to use for this clustering algorithm. I did use DeepNode's built-in visualization tool that basically allows you to choose a scatter plot and decide what's your X and Y axes and also the color and create this defense and attack chart, but it was really hard to see and to use on my small iPhone. But here's what it looks like on desktop. And that's as far as I got before we ran out of cell phone coverage and I couldn't use DeepNote anymore because I didn't have access to data on my phone. From there, I enjoyed my day, enjoyed my brother-in-law's birthday, we rode razors, ATVs, we played spike ball, made some juicy steaks, and then I realized this. All right, we have spent a long day riding razors and ATVs, and you can see I got the deep note shirt a little dirty, a little muddy. I was able to code a little bit in the car. We ran out of service pretty quickly. I was able to import the CSV and start to like visualize it, but that's about it. Then we ran out of service, unfortunately, so try again some tomorrow in the car as well and but i might finish it at home On the way home from camping, I did try to code more, although service was really spotty, we went a different way. But I was able to look up Scikit-Learn's documentation for k-means. If you didn't know, k-means is one of the best and easiest ways to do clustering. So I looked that up and copy and pasted some of the demo code into Deep Note so that I'd be able to change it to fit my own settings. By the way, I'm coding in the car now on the way to the Apple Store to buy Haley a new iPhone.
on his phone. By this point, I did have k-means running on my phone. I did need to clean up the data a little bit and remove a couple of the rows because there were some null values. But at this point, I was able to get the k-means clustering actually working with four clusters. Now, I didn't really know if four clusters was the appropriate amount. I made a quick little scatter plot to try to visualize what those clusters would look like. I didn't have time to do PCA or principal component analysis and try to like mess with the dimensions a little bit to make this visualization a little bit more interesting. Um, but I wanted to check to see what the proper amount of clusters might be. So I wrote this snippet of code right here that basically goes through a for loop, trying different amounts of clusters and seeing what the accuracy is. This is called an elbow chart and you basically want to pick a point where you're not sacrificing a lot on the accuracy, but you have as few clusters as possible. So I ended up with four. I think you could argue between four and six or even maybe even seven, but I chose four for simplicity's sake. So the last thing I did, and I actually this one I got home, I got to my desk, but no, I didn't use the computer. I stayed on my phone. Here's video evidence. But I created this scatter plot matrix in Plotly Express showing all the different attributes against each other with the colors being the different clusterings. This just allows you to like see different like outliers and like try to understand the clustering. So like for instance, Critter Talk and Barbotch are kind of these outliers. Um, it's a little bit hard to zoom in on this. It was like nearly impossible on my phone. So that's what I'm showing you on, on desktop. But you could really play around with this and try to understand the clusterings and see what colors are where and how they might relate and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I didn't have a whole lot of time to do this, but I definitely think it's something that you guys can take, you know, start from this right here and make my clustering better than it is. I pretty much did the bare bones. I didn't even do a very clean or good job of doing it, but definitely take my starter template and do whatever you want. Run with this project. So overall, is it possible to do a data science project on your phone? Yes. Is it very enjoyable? No. The screen's not very big. It's hard to type with your thumbs. My thumbs are super fat, so it makes the whole thing really kind of a frustrating process. But DeepNote is a really good option if you do want to use your phone. You can do everything within DeepNote. You can even publish this whole project inside of DeepNote and have it be published on their platform with a clickable URL to the project, which is totally awesome in my mind. As always, for this 30 Day of Science Projects in 30 Days series that I'm doing, I will give you access to the code and the data in the description down below. Just down, go down there, look for something called resources, and you'll be able to start from where I finished. And hey, if you're watching this far in the video, you might watch these videos over here. You might really like them. You also want to subscribe to the channel. It helps other people find my channel, and I really appreciate it for all the hard work that I'm putting in. It's really late, guys. I need to go to bed so I can wake up for my 6 a.m. gym class, so I'll see you tomorrow.